three tricks to look better in photos. Is this your tall friend's perspective? Ouch. Just lean back and have them leave one third blank space above your head. Nice. Never fill up all the boxes. Move one foot in front of the other and leave one box above your head. Very cool. This is not how you take half body shots. Let me tell you a secret. Put your head in the middle box and body close to the right bottom corner. Perfect. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. When you see the bling bling in the water, you should try silhouette shots. Tap and hold on the screen to lock focus and exposure. Drag down the sun icon slider. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. Planning a flower photo shoot? Stop taking the same old photos. Tell your friend to place the phone in between the flowers, turn on wide angle, and flip the phone upside down. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. Spring is so beautiful, this is the photo your friend takes of you. Tell them try placing some flowers close to the lens to add some foreground. Or shoot up half body. Now that we are having fun, find a leaf and make a small hole. Turn on portrait mode. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. How most people take photos, unflattering and messy. Mm -hmm. Back up and put a person on the bottom of the frame. You get a powerful image that conveys emotions. Why so close? Now my head looks like a balloon. Mm -hmm. Turn your camera horizontally and just walk it out. A cinematic image is anything but boring. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. Can we stop taking snow photos like this? Next time, turn on live, wide angle, flip your camera to get close to the ground. Now kick. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. Are you still taking the same old boring photos on the stairs? Next time, try this. Turn on panel mode, tap to start, change your position, and tap again to complete. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. How to take a perfect selfie, no filter needed. First, find a window light. Then turn on iPhone portrait mode. Select studio light. Adjust the light intensity, exposure, and background blur. That's it. Don't worry, you can still make adjustments after you take the photos. Go ahead and give it a try. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. If you zoom out on your phone as you walk forward, you get this spatial warping known as the vertical effect. Here's the result. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. When you see a street lamp at night, try this. Turn on portrait mode and flash. Put the street lamp behind your head to add contouring. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. When you see a window, instead of taking the photo straight on, try shifting closer to the window and use the reflection to create a powerful symmetry. When photographing in front of a wall, try flipping your phone horizontally and move the lens next to the wall. Negative space makes an impact and adds a moodier feel. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. Are you still taking photos like a tourist? Mm -hmm. Next time when you see a cool landmark, try this. Turn on panel mode, turn your phone horizontally and move upward slowly. Follow me on Instagram for more tips.